Jamie, was that a game that was killed off by two set pieces? I think it was a game that was killed off by um, a lacklustre start from us. The first 45 minutes I thought we were dreadful. We didn't compete well enough. We were, we were very much off it, I thought. you know, We had a few opportunities, we moved the ball quite well at times in the first half but all in all we were just we were nowhere near in the first 45 minutes and that's what cost us you know two set plays and every time they had a set play in the first half it looked like they were going to create something and, you know that's not like us that's not the chore that we know we're usually quite strong with us so that's that's the most disappointing thing for me that we've we've been um, dominated very much we've been dominated in our own box and you know that doesn't sit right with me what do you put that down to no idea no idea. It's difficult because we've got the same players on the pitch that were on the pitch in the, you know, when we've defended um, clean sheets. It's not, you know, it's not down to who the player is. It's what the player's doing, and you know, they've got a couple of little set plays. They've got a couple of little set plays that they've worked on, and they've managed to get a man free. But I just think all in all, it was switching off, not being strong enough, not being mentally strong enough, and not being physically strong enough on occasions. And that's not generally. That's just today. Just today. The boys have really let themselves down. Look, there's no one hurt more than our changing room at the moment. Everyone's heads are obviously down after that. You know, BT Sport have been here today. The first time the club have had a, a televised live game in the, in the, in the league. And... We've let ourselves down as an opportunity to show people what we're all about. And, you know, anyone who's been watching today, live or on the telly, will think that Chorley Football Club haven't got a very good footballing team. But, you know, we know differently, I know differently. I still believe in the players, I still believe in what we've got. But, you know, some of them need to be stand up and be counted. I mean, it's easy. Last season it was easy. I'd said too, it was easy being a manager of a football club. Last season it was easy because the team pretty much picked itself. We were going into teams, into games full of confidence. We're getting the results more often than not. And it was easy. I think that now's the time when it becomes hard. You know, it's hard for me. It's a challenge for me. Um, it's a challenge for the boys, though. You know, we're up against it this year, and um, you know, we're seeing that now as the games are going on. I think we're seven, eight, eight games in now, and we have to work hard to get some points. Are you glad that there's another game so quickly afterwards on Tuesday? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I don't look. It's good. It can be a positive. A, a game round the corner can all, always be a positive if you get a good result. Um, but you know, one thing for sure is the lads will want to. We'll want to bounce back from that, and they'll be absolutely ready for Harrogate. Yeah. How do you see that going right now? I've not even thought about it, to be honest. Look, I've not thought about it. I'm feeling, uh, I'm not feeling great after that one. You know, after the others, I felt I can come out, chest out, shoulders high, and um, I feel quite confident with what we've got. But I just feel at the moment um, that we have to find something. We really have to find something to get a result on Tuesday. We've done it before, you know. Last season we were down and out away at Spennymoor. We've come back and we've people picked ourselves up and and then done well. So you know, I'm confident as I say with what we've got. But the boys have got to find something inside them to, so that we can go again. We can kick on and, and start our season because at the moment we're having little patches that are spelled, but we, you know, we're not finding that fluidity that we found last season. And it's down to me. It's down to me ultimately to pick the side. Down to me to get things right. Down to me to sort of training out to recruit the right players and and to get our boys absolutely mentally mentally prepared. And they've just got to look after themselves now between now and Tuesday get themselves right we go to Harrogate with a fresh fresh mind and, and hopefully we can get something from that game